Viva Jesu, I'm Jackie. Viva Maria, I'm Jessica. Viva Maria, I'm Pamela. Viva Maria, I'm Juliana. Viva Maria, and I'm Jen. And we're Salesian Explorers! And you're Salesian Explorers too. And we want you to join in our adventures. We're gonna go all around the world. And we're going to learn about St. Mary Mazzarello as we get ready for the 150th anniversary of the Salesian Sisters. And together we're going to grow in holiness and become saints. Woo! -hoo! Oh man, yeah, so let's go grab some gelato before we go to the Valpanasca. That sounds like a great idea. But wait, I thought Julia was following us. Oh. Do you think, do you think she got lost? Hmm. Pamela? Genevieve? Where did they go? Oh, maybe they're on the train with Mother Yvonne! Hi, Mother Yvonne! Have you seen the Salesian Explorers? I think I did see her get on a train with Mother oh. Yvonne and oh. other Salesian sisters. Maybe she just went to hang out with Jackie and Jessica. Let's just get that gelato. I'm starving! Okay, <laughs> alright. Oh, look at all this yummy gelato! You know, I wish we could eat like all the flavors. My stomach is so ready for a feast. I know, mine too. Okay, let's get a bunch of free samples. Excuse me, excuse <gasps> me. to be grateful for one or two flavors and not eat so much. Yeah, so anyway, I think we should probably get going so we can go see where Mary Mozzarella's family lived and worked, you know, for the, I think the next part of her life. I can't even okay. remember. Wait, That's okay. Cool. I think if we take a nice puzzle, we'll, we'll work off that ice cream. Let's, right, let's hurry. Let's, go. let's look at this beautiful field and vineyard. You know, Mary Mozzarella used to wake up super early to help her father in this vineyard. What? Yeah, no she became really strong. I believe that. She even mm -hmm. was sometimes stronger than some of her father's hired men. No way. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm so grateful for her example of such hard work and sacrifice but to help her father and her family. That's awesome. Know, you know, she inspires me to help my family at home. Mm hmm me too. But you know what's even cooler? What? You see that church way in the background? That one over yeah, there? Yeah, way in the distance. Okay, yeah, okay, do you see so it? So she would get up before sunrise even. Wow. So excited to go to morning mass to receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. That's right. She really, really loved Jesus. Sometimes she would look at this, this window from her house. Do you remember that one? Wait, what window? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm pretty sure there's a window by her house. Maybe we can go there and see it. Okay. You want to head right. over there? Yeah, let's go. All right, Salesian right, Explorers, let's go. We're here. Wow. This is the Valpanasca. This is the window that Mary Mazzarello would look out of to greet Jesus in the morning. Yeah, um, remember, she always woke up before the sun even got up just to be able to say hello right. and to try to make it to morning mass. That's right. Sometimes she wouldn't be able to make it to the church in the evening. So when her mother would find out of what she was doing by the window and escaping over there just to pray to Jesus, she thought it would be great for the family to pray together. <laughs> you know, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always heard that a family who prays together stays, stays together. together. That's right. Mm -hmm. I just love how Mary Mazzarella was so creative and she just loved Jesus so much that she found a way to talk to him and pray to him even in her difficult times, much like this pandemic. You know, right now it's really hard to visit Jesus at church and I know a lot of people really miss going to Mass or really miss going to Adoration. I know I do. Yeah. You know, but hey, you know, you don't have to be so sad though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is hard, but just like Mary Mazzarello, 
some churches have also been very creative by having these like outdoor masses right. mm -hmm. or even publicizing them online. Yeah, yeah. So, and I'm really grateful to God for the technology that we have now so yes. that we're still able to even have things like online mass so that we can at least, you know, remember and be connected to Jesus. That, you know what, Genevieve, you are so right. And that is so true. Wherever you are, wherever I am, we can pray and we can be close to Jesus. And online mass, hoorah, an oratory like this with our Salesian Explorer friends. Yeah, you know, so see, Pamela, so despite this crazy time during the pandemic, mm -hmm. there's still so much to be grateful for. Yeah. And our love of Jesus will continue to grow. Yeah. And you know, the word Eucharist, you know, like the Blessed Sacrament, mm -hmm. means Thanksgiving. I love that. Thank you so much, Jen, for sharing. No problem. I, I just am so excited, and I can't even imagine the day that all of the churches are open again, and all the children and all my friends are going to be running back into the church just to see Jesus. It's going to be so great. Why don't we head down to the church that Mary Mazzarello used Wait, to Wait, you want to go across that big field again? We uh, just came from over there. Why didn't we just visit the church when we were getting gelato? Uh-huh. You know, Jesus is worth it. And we can appreciate the beautiful vineyards all over again and be thankful even more. All right, fine. Okay, great. Let's go. See, wasn't this trip totally worth it? Okay, it is a lovely church. Do you want to go inside and say hello to Jesus? Of course. I'm always ready to see my BFF. All right. <laughs> You know, but I feel like we're forgetting something. Or someone! Juliana! I've been looking all over for you. I bent down to tie my shoe and oh then no. you left me. Oh no, no I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, you know, I thought I saw you waving to Mother Yvonne and getting on a train, so I thought you were going to hang out. Well, thankfully, Mother Yvonne was able to tell me what church you were going to oh. and how to get there. Sorry. Maybe next time we need to be practicing self-control like Jessica. Yeah. But we are super thankful that you're here now. Yes. Well, I am thankful I found you, and mm -hmm. I do forgive you. Thank you. You still owe me a gelato, though. Okay, okay that's, absolutely. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, actually, though, we were just on our way to make a visit to Jesus inside of the church. You want to come with us? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right. In the, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Jesus, we thank you for our time to visit you. Thank you for this wonderful adventure in Mornese and the opportunity to learn more about St. Mary Mozzarella's life. We ask that you help us and all other Salesian explorers around the world to be more aware of the blessings in our life. Help us to be more grateful for the big and little things. And help us to say thank you more often. We love you. Mary, help of Christians, pray, pray for, for us. In the name, name of the, the Father, and, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, I just love my time with my BFF, Jesus. <laughs> that was great. Oh, it was great. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> but where are we going next, huh. you guys? Oh, you know what? Yeah. I think that I saw Jessica and Jackie earlier today, oh. and they were telling me they were going to the Collegio. They're probably still there. Do you want to go? Yeah, yeah, totally. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> Bye, Bye Salesian Explorers!